You've heard that fasting triggers autophagy, the powerful cellular cleanup system that clears away damaged cells and keeps your body young. But if you're over 40, fasting without a strategy can quietly backfire. Because when your body runs low on amino acids, it doesn't clean house. It starts raiding your own muscle, the very tissue that's keeping you strong, lean and alive. Today, I wanna to show you how to fast smart so you can activate autophagy without sacrificing muscle that protects your future. Autophagy literally means self-cleaning. It's your body's built-in recycling system when nutrients are low, like during fasting, exercise, or caloric restriction. Your body goes into cleanup mode. Old cells, damaged mitochondria, viruses, and broken proteins are tagged and literally cleared away. I think of it like sending a crew of cellular janitors. They collect the trash, sweep the floors, and make space for new healthier cells. Autophagy improves immune function by clearing out dysfunctional white blood cells and cellular debris that fuel chronic inflammation. It slows aging by reducing the buildup of toxic waste inside the cells and cleaning up the free radical mess left behind by da damaged mitochondria. And it boosts regeneration by triggering stem cells to rebuild and repair fresh, efficient tissue. What most people don't realize, you don't need three day fasts to get these benefits. In fact, if you're over 40 years old, I think long fasts without a plan can do more harm than good. You can trigger meaningful autophagy just through doing 16 or 24 hour time restricted feeding combined with movement or light training. And I think you can get the vast majority of the benefits without having to suffer the consequences of potentially losing muscle. So here's where things really change after 40. Your body becomes anabolically resistant. That means it doesn't build or hold on to muscle as easily as it used to. At 25, you might only need 20 grams of protein to activate muscle protein synthesis. Your internal repair and building process works fine. But at 55, that number often doubles. You might need 40 or 50 grams of protein in a single meal just to get the exact same effect that you did when you were 20. So if you're fasting for too long or too often, without refeeding properly or lifting weights to send workers into the muscle cells, muscle breakdown quietly speeds up and that loss is cosmetic. Muscle is your metabolism's engine. It's your glucose sponge. It's your physical independence. When it starts breaking down, you don't just get weaker. You lose your long-term protection against aging. Here's how it works. Imagine your body is a Lego factory. Protein gives you Legos, AKA amino acids, to keep building and repairing the body tissues. When you go 12, 24, even 36 hours without eating, those Legos run out. But your body still needs them to build enzymes, to build hormones, to build your immune cells. So it raised the walls of the MPS factory, your muscle tissue to keep the critical system going. That's called muscle protein breakdown or MPB. Yeah, autophagy may help clearing out the cellular junk, but without a strategy, it's also quietly stripping away some of your muscle and strength. So let me give you a real world example. Meet Chris. He's 52 years old and lifts weights three times a week, which sends more workers into the MPS room for him. Good idea. First, he does two weeks of time restricted feeding, eating between, let's say noon and eight. At both lunch and dinner, he gets 35 to 40 grams of protein, which literally turns the MPS room on, his muscle building switch, for at least two times a day. He walks in the morning fasted to enhance his autophagy without risk of muscle loss. The result, steady fat loss, preserved muscle, and energy solid. A few months later, Chris decides, you know what? I'm gonna try a 36 hour fast. No protein, no lifting, no structured refeed. And sure, he sees some of the scale weight drop. So the scale looks and says, hey, you're doing a great job. But what's really happened? He's lose stored glycogen or stored carbohydrates that are stored in his muscle. And without it, it's really just a few pounds of water. So when he starts to refeed or put carbs back, that weight's gonna come back. Half of the weight that he thinks he lost, he didn't. So that's not fat loss. That's just depletion, temporary depletion. He looks at the scale and he thinks, I won, but he didn't. He lost about four pounds in total and two pounds of it was muscle. Do you know how long it's gonna take him to put two pounds of muscle tissue back on? Months of extremely difficult work. And that's if you're training hard and eating the right way every single day. Meanwhile, that missing muscle tissue means his strength drops because he's literally stripped away parts of this engine. His energy crashes because of the lower glycogen, lower muscle mass, and no refeed. His body has nothing left in the tank. Autophagy may have cleaned up some of the old cells, but the price was steep. He paid for it in lean mass, strength, and long-term progress. Not worth it. The benefits were wiped out by the muscle loss that he never meant to cause. You can't look at a scale and determine success. That number tells you nothing about what kind of weight you lost. 
or what you're giving up in the process. You must measure fat and muscle loss on any program, fasting or non-fasting, keto or non-keto, carnivore or not. So what did we learn? You absolutely can stimulate meaningful autophagy through smart daily 16, 24 hour fast or time restricted feeding. Pair that with movement and you increase those numbers even more. But what if you go longer, harder, more extreme without a strategy? You're not getting ahead. You're just digging a hole that you're gonna have to climb out of later. So here's how to do it right. Strength train three to four times a week. That sends more workers into the MPS room and keeps them there longer. The training signal tells your body, this tissue matters, protect it. Keep your fasting window between 16 and 24 hours, not longer. Why? Because shorter time restricted feedings still activate autophagy and give you the vast majority of the benefits without pushing you into muscle loss. Use light movement like walking or stretching during your fast to boost autophagy without overloading the system. And when it's time to eat, Refeed with 40 or 50 grams of high quality protein and at least three grams of leucine. Once you start a refeed from a fast or time restricted feeding, you really wanna up the number in terms of amino acids and leucine. Why so much? Because after fasting, your body is low on circulating aminos. You need a big dose to fully unload your Legos and flip the MPS switch all the way back on. Time your hardest lifts during the eating window. Not when you're fasted or running on fumes. Why? Because you want to fuel those workouts with carbs and not strip your muscle of the power through them. And when you break your fast, lead with healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, and nuts. They keep the insulin spike lower, which extends the autophagy effect while still giving your body the raw materials it needs to begin the muscle repair. That's why I'm trying to limit carbs on my initial refeed. Here's the hard truth. If you're over 50 and doing three-day fasts every month without strength training or proper refeeding, here's what's really happening. You lose muscle faster, your metabolism slows down, fat starts creeping up. Even if the scale doesn't move, your recovery gets slower, you feel more tired, and your physical strength erodes slowly year after year, even if you're checking all the fasting boxes. Autophagy is powerful. It clears out what's old, but muscle is what keeps you young. You need both. But after 40, muscle becomes your insurance policy. Don't fast your strength away. Protect it, build it, and move into the next decades with power and not decline. Quiet commitment beats loud promises every time. If something here shifted your lens, hit subscribe and let's keep showing up together.